amid this escalation of the war, there are protests that are taking place across the globe. Uh, fierce protests are taking place in countries like the United States, the United Kingdom uh, and Turkey with many protesters on ground um, and uh, massive security threats you know, emerging in France, uh, which of course forced uh, the country to evacuate people from six airports yesterday. Um, as this continues to amplify, uh, this may perhaps uh, deliver another shock to the world um, and uh, amid the growth of uh, inflationary forces. Meanwhile, with us on the broadcast is Major General Sudhakar Ji. Sir, what do you make of these protests? There seems to be a connectivity issue at Major General Sudhakar Ji's end, but still with us on the broadcast is uh, Mr. Srivastav. Sir, I'd like to pose that question to you. Uh, we are witnessing protests in Capitol Hill in uh, the United States, in France, due to which airports, six airports were, uh, in fact, uh, they had to face the evacuation of people. Uh, there are protests in Turkey and also in London. What do you make of this? Well, you know, Pia, I think uh, there are uh, uh, forces, there are uh, elements uh, in the international community. Uh, they are, you know, uh, attempting to put this uh, uh, narrative uh, that uh, this is a uh, uh, war between the uh, two uh, you know, civilizations and two uh, uh, in identities are, you know, uh, religions are going to be uh, fighting and the people of, uh, you know, uh, Philistine, uh, they are suffering and uh, there has to be justice to the people of Philistine, etc., etc. That is uh, a kind of a narrative which is being built uh, by some elements, some uh, actors, uh, 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 obviously with the vested interest uh, to, to uh, uh, divide this international community on this, uh, on, on this issue. And uh, I think the attempts are being made to polarize the opinion of the international community, which I believe is a totally fake narrative, uh, which are some uh, people and some, you know, uh, uh, state and non-state actors are attempting to build. I think uh, that should be encountered, and said that should also be defeated. I think this, the real nature of this crisis must be understood. That this is not uh, a war uh, between Israel and Palestine. Uh, obviously, Israel and Palestine is an issue that must be addressed, and the real solution, as President Biden himself has said, and the many uh, responsible nations, including India, we all believe that the two nation. Uh, 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 the solution is the only solution uh, where you know, Israel and Palestine uh, as a sovereign independent state live side by side with uh, peace and harmony. So that is the only solution of this crisis and uh, for that to do uh, dialogue and negotiations are required, understanding is required, wisdom is required, uh, uh, but unfortunately that has not been done. But uh, uh, with regard to this uh, situation which Israel is facing at this point of time is a totally uh, different situation and this is a terrorist attack. This is a war against terrorism. This is not war against the people of Gaza. This is not the war against uh, Israel between Israel and Palestine. And obviously, you know, this terrorist, they precisely wanted this to be happening uh, when uh, we are seeing this kind of, uh, you know, uh, narrative which is being built, uh, a polarized narrative. That's a, this is a war. Israel is fighting against, uh, you know, Palestine, etc., etc. So terrorists wanted this, uh, uh, this kind of a polarization. They wanted to disrupt. Uh, this uh, normalization process uh, between uh, uh, Israel and uh, uh, Arab world and that they wanted to uh, disturb this uh, entire uh, initiative uh, which was uh, taken uh, through the signing of the Abraham Accords in yes. 2020 because of which uh, there was a lot of constructive development was happening. Hmm. There was a dialogue amongst uh, between civilizations were happening but this terrorists uh, wanted to do uh, this kind of a disruption. So if, if international community becomes divided then hmm. that's a victory of terrorists. So I think it is also important uh, for the wise leaders, wise people of the world, that not to uh, get you know, divided on this uh, uh, on these lines. This is not dharma yudh. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.